Yeah, they do. We'll find you around. We're gonna be good. <laughs> hey, how we doing? You guys ready for tomorrow? We're all set. Tell us about the boat. Well, it's all new now. Get, let Tony try it now. <laughs> Looks pretty clean. Thank you. You guys got it all dialed in, huh? Hopefully. There's, nobody believes I have a wallet. I just want to let everyone know I have a wallet. Yeah. <laughs> I actually have a wallet. Nobody believes I have a wallet. I even got money. Not that anybody's going to get any of it. How much cash you got in there? Oh, I got a couple hundred, I think. You got some hundos? Yeah, it's that one that he got when he was born. Yeah. I got it for my <laughs> 21st birthday. He still got it. Right on. Why don't you guys give a shout out to surfrat.tv? Hey, surfrat.tv. That's what we're talking about, baby. That's right. We'll see you guys tomorrow. All right. Take care. Driver? Uh, right behind you. It's anyway. Alright, we're back in Long Beach for the Long Beach Sprint National. We got Comp Jet 169 right here, the owner, father. No, we don't know. That's our boat over there. Oh, okay, well, we'll go over here. Which one's yours? Right here, the 64? See, it's so dark out here, I can't see it that good. But. Tell us about the boat. Just, we're, we're building it in memory of Sean Nafsinger, uh, the kid that drove the pro stock boat for us and took us to a national championship. This boat's been redone in memory of him. Um, and it's a hot rod. It's a, uh, it's a pretty stout piece. It looks like it. Well, we wish you luck tomorrow. Thank you very much. Name of the driver? Greg Duff. He's my son. All right, cool. Shout out to surfrat.tv. There you go. I, I see your van parked around the races. All right, man, cool. Good luck tomorrow. Have a good day. Right. We're out here at Long Beach for the Long Beach Sprint Nationals. We got. CJ 169 right here, we have the owner and I'm going to let her introduce herself and talk about the boat a little bit. Hi guys, my name is Kendall Yunker, my dad was Mark Yunker, recently he just passed away out in Parker, Arizona for Thanksgiving. So we're here, my family and I are back there, you probably can't see him, but we are here to support you daddy, I love you so much and I know you're here watching over all of us and all of your boat racing family, I love you. Go CJ169! Thank and all you! all your fans too. Yes, thank you sir, Fran. I love you guys. You're always here to record and give us the best show ever. Thank you, CJ169! Woo! Whoa! He's ready. <laughs> all right, we're out here in Long Beach for the Long Beach Sprint Nationals. Somebody's putting away their trophy, so I got over here kind of quick to see see it before he put it away. Let's check go. out the plaque real quick. It's kind of hard to see in the dark. I don't have any light. Anyways, what, tell us about the trophy real quick. I know you're, I'm interrupting you, but uh, you're at surfrat.tv live uh, right now. It's the Rudy Ramos uh, trophy for Grand National class. Okay, which, uh, tell us about the boat, the number and the class, everything. The boat's this uh, 21 racing craft, GN. Um, Nothing special. We just try hard. Cool. How much horsepower you got that day? Maybe 700, 750, something like that. Okay, now it's going up every time, so I'm not <laughs> sure about this. Okay, 725. It makes 725. You gotta run the skinny pedal hard to get a trophy like that. Uh, yeah. <laughs> just gotta go for it. It's more than 725. All right, you guys ready for tomorrow? Yeah, we're ready. It goes way more than Cool, I wish you luck. Shout thank out to Surfrat. Thanks. Shout out to Surfrat. All right, sure. thank you. All right, we're back in Long Beach for the Long Beach Sprint Nationals. We're showing the boats that are on display out here. We noticed this one out here with no sponsorship, no numbers, and we're going to talk to the owner about it, driver, and see what uh, what's going on with this boat, sir. How you doing? What's your name? Tom. Tom what? Books up. All right, and your uh, boat number that should be on? The boat number is not going to be on there this weekend. The boat's done racing. This boat used to race, and now we're we are actually going to have it on the display. 
cool. So this boat's retired, and I heard it's for sale. It is. It is. Do you want to put a price tag on it, or just tell them to call you? Oh, I got I got actually a person coming to look at it tomorrow down here. That's coming. Oh, it almost, almost yeah. already sold. Yeah. Sorry, I, I think so. <laughs> yeah, he's coming down from San Luis Obispo. So what are you going to do about getting another boat? I'm actually working on a GN boat, the 369. I work with Heath, Heath on that boat. And, oh, nice. And getting into that my own program on that one. How far out you think you are from that? A year. About, so 2017, you're going to be uh, debuting? Could be, yeah. Sure. Cool, man. Yeah. What would be your number? Do you have a set number? <clears throat> no, we're, we're kicking it around. Okay, yeah. cool. Well, thanks for the interview, and good luck uh, with the, the future of your race team. Thanks, and thanks to everybody for coming out. It's fun sport. Cool. Thank you. Thank you. Back in Long Beach for the Long Beach Sprint Nationals, we're out here where the boats are on display at Dogs, and uh, we got a Pro Stock 920. Nine. Nine. 929. He was in the way of my number. I was trying to zoom in up for you guys. And that is Shane Hill right here. We're going to interview him and talk to him a little bit about tomorrow. Shane, what's happening? Uh, everything's happening. We're here in front of Dogs. We are uh, at our show and shine. It's uh, our annual race here at uh, Long Beach, and it's killer to race here. It's awesome. You guys race here every year? Every year. It's usually the first, second week in August. Uh, we've got about, I think there's about six to eight boats in our class yep. this year. And a uh, bunch of guys that we always race with together, you know, it always it's always a fun time down here to race in the, race at the beach. It's fast, it's slick, it's tight. So uh, <laughs> we're all excited. We're all motivated to do it. You guys, um, you guys raced in this boat here last year. You said. Yes, we did. And how did you do last year? We got second place last year. Oh, okay. So you got one spot to get. We got one spot to get. Yeah. Well, we got interrupted by a nice little sound there, but that's okay. I got nice you little blowing motor. Yeah. Yeah, I got you back. <laughs> <laughs> so cool, man. Um, you guys are all ready for tomorrow. You got everything. All the whole program's ready. Boats ready. Dialed in, as you can see. Yeah. Uh, well, how much horsepower are you pushing out of that bad boy? Last time we dynoed it, we were getting 850, 870, you know, just depending on the tune up. What do you think your top speeds will be tomorrow? Top speeds in the class will be, you know, between 110, 120 mile an hour. That's, that's, and that's the thing is to get the boat out there, get on your practice, get it tuned up, and uh, get the tune up right so you can get as fast as you can go. All right, man. Well, I wish you luck tomorrow. Right on. Thanks, man. Yeah, we got we got uh, roof RX. We got uh, drag boats unlimited. We got advanced racing engines. We got petted bobcat service in the house. Cool. Yeah. Looks like you guys are ready. We're ready to go. Good luck to you. Thanks, man. Sprint Nationals, we are looking at uh, display boats that are out here on the street, and uh, the driver is not available right now, but I did find the crew chief, the crew chief right here. Crew member. Crew member. <laughs> How about your name? Uh, Jermaine Tarrant. Tell us about the boat. Well, uh, El Cid is uh, five years old. It's uh, started out as kind of a prototype. It's 1,850 horsepower, full-blown alcohol, capable of speeds in excess of 150 miles an hour. Uh, it was the national K-Boat champions in 2014 and 15. As well, in January, we traveled to Australia for a challenge, and uh, we came home champions of the world. Nice. So Can't beat that. Right. I think I actually saw a video on YouTube of that. You guys beating them out there in Australia. Yeah, yeah. it was a great adventure, a great trip. Looking forward to 2018. I think the Aussies are coming over here, and we may return the favor again in 2018. So each year you guys trade off, you come back over here? Uh, every two years I think they're going to try to do something. Oh, that's awesome. So, that's something new I heard. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, yeah. All right. Well, what was the driver's name? Uh, Duff Daly. He's Duff. a world champion driver. He's been driving for 50 years. 
hold several world records as well as championships. Nice. And uh, excellent, excellent driver. Well, we wish we were here to get him, and uh, but we'll have him on film tomorrow. I, I hope so. Right. Looking well, forward to it. Thanks for the interview. Good luck to you guys. Thank you. All right. All right. Back in Long Beach for the Long Beach Sprint Nationals. We are on the street for the display going on. Live right here, as you can see. Streets are blocked off. Everything. Boats are parked here. People walking by, checking out the boats. But right here, we're going to talk to the owner, the uh, future driver of this boat. Introduce yourself. Hey, I'm Doug Lindsay. I'm from Oregon. Come down here to have a blast here at Long Beach. I mean, it's the mecca of where the boats started drag racing and circle boat racing. And uh, this is where it all started, right here, at Long Beach, huh? Yeah. So it's like one of those things where you check off the bucket list, and it's uh, awesome. So th is this the first time, or how many times have you? This is the first time I've been down here. This is it, your first time here in Long Beach. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. So you'll uh, you got a driver driving it tomorrow? Yeah, Tyler Ross gonna drive it for me, and he's, uh, he's not here tonight. He said. Uh, he went home early. He's going to get some sleep. Yeah. I understand. The good driver thing. Yeah. Right. Well, that's cool. And uh, what's your number? K401. There you guys go. Any shout outs to your sponsors? Uh, Cannon Marine up in uh, Orchards, Washington, and uh, Tommy Moore Trucking. Awesome. There you guys have it. Watch for this boat tomorrow live. All right, we're back in Long Beach for the Long Beach Sprint Nationals. We're checking out all the boats that are on display, as you can see on the street here. We came across the boat number 55, oh, great. and uh, the driver's name is? Dale Baker. There you have it. So tell us a little bit about your boat, Dale. So this boat is a boat that uh, uh, Danny Bumen and uh, Dustin Millard are uh, the owners of it. Uh, they are racing it in uh, tribute pretty much to their grandfather, Dick Bumen. Um, and it's just been, uh, it was his last boat. So and it's a boat that they've loved and it's a, it's a great boat. Yeah. Is it a winner? That's the question. Oh yeah. Oh it's yeah. It's a winning boat. Oh yeah. There you have oh, it. Oh yeah. Where are you from? Uh, I'm from Bellingham, Washington. Uh, Dusty is from uh, uh, Ontario, Oregon, and that's where the uh, boat comes from. So, yeah. How long have you been racing? I've been racing since 2000. Nice. So uh, I've been in it for a long time. But Any this championships? Will, what do you got? Uh, I got a uh, second place in high points in super stock uh, and a third place in pro stock. A um, couple Western Divisional overall wins, um, and then. Uh, yeah, yeah. First time running a one pin though, so it's going to be interesting. It's going to be a lot of fun. So tomorrow's your first day running that class, or running the one pin courses. Oh, the yeah, one the pin short course. course. I see. Yeah. Instead of two buoys out there. Yeah, instead it's, of the big I courses in the yeah. northwest. Yeah. You got to turn a lot sharper then, yeah. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Yeah, it's it's going to be a different ball game, but I'm excited and I'm ready to have some fun. Well, the boat looks like you guys got it dialed, and I don't think you'll have a problem out there. Oh yeah, I think I think we'll be good. We got a couple little adjustments, but I I think we're going to be up there. We're going to be one of the contenders. Cool, man. How about a sponsor shout out? You got any of those? Uh, sponsor shout out is uh, Ghost Town Farms and uh, the shop in Ontario, Oregon. Nice. Well, good luck to you guys tomorrow. We'll be watching you live at SurfRat.tv. All right. Thanks a lot. All right. Look, different ways. Oh, hey, don't mind me. Um, you got to just be paying attention all the time to everything, you know, okay? So, you know, just... Can you reach the pedal? Yeah, you can reach yeah. the pedal. Oh, he's ready to drive. Yeah, he's ready. These boys are ready to go. Yeah, he's... You're the driver are, now? Yes. What's your name? Matt Bookie. What's your boat number? 42. P42. You're at, you're on live. Yeah. So, anyway, he's these boys... The kids about yeah. the boat. That's what we're doing here, so yeah. we'll back out of that and watch check out this boat. Yeah. So Get it. Lock in. Hold on. Hold on. Got it green. Go! We're fucking on the green. There you go. Crack the box. Crack the box. We're here at Long Beach, our dogs. I just want to say for the record that, that Mike Stock has agreed to drive the SE tomorrow. He has agreed to throw down, and Duff will stand out. He will stand out and only drive the cable. Mike Stock of Stock Racing 
has agreed to drive the SE tomorrow for the Nationals. Is that true? Yes, it is. There it is. Now it can't be taken back. Casey, you see that? Can't Number take one. it back. It's over. Mike Stock is driving. What do you have to say, Mike? I, uh, we'll give it a shot. Are you going to win? We'll give it a shot. You never uh, know what happens. We got to be more confident. You got to go down and turn and turn left, and we'll see how it works. <laughs> I can't wait for tomorrow. This is going to be the greatest day ever. All right, you better ever. Quit. We're live at Dobbs and Long Beach Sprint National. You better think hard, pretty boy. Ross the boss is telling him what's up. Mike's going to be running tomorrow. Rumor has it. Yep, rumor has it, but rumors are always true, but they give it the best they can do. Really. Oh, he's he might be backing out, Ross. Ross is backing out. No, he ain't backing out. Because he's already said it. You know what? Ross has diarrhea in the mouth. Mike Stock. Mike Stock. <laughs> Ross. He needs to take his Mike Stock needs to take his tampon out. Yes. You know what? Ross is a tampon. And I'm saying right now that if Mike Stock had a hair between his legs, he would follow through with his option. He said he is going to come and run that SE. He better run that SE tomorrow, or it's he's going to never hear the end of it. What do you say, Mike? I I will answer whatever Ross wants. There it is. He's kind of like whatever you Ross heard wants. it. You heard it. Ross wants it. It happens. My race, motherfucker.